Good Morning San Antonio starts right now. Good morning. It's Friday, June 21st, the first Ooh. day of summer. First official day of summer. Yes. Thanks very much for <laughs> starting your morning with us. New this morning, police say an eight-year-old girl is in the hospital after being shot. New this morning, police say an eight-year-old girl is in the hospital after being shot. A police sergeant says the girl was shot once in each leg in the 1300 block of Allende on the west side around 1030 last night. Now, police are still investigating what led up to the shooting and only know that a dark sedan drove by when the shots were fired. Detectives are currently investigating and trying to find the shooter. And in your morning headlines, the New York Times is reporting that President Donald Trump authorized military strikes against Iran, then abruptly called them off. In your morning headlines, the New York Times is reporting that President Donald Trump authorized military strikes against Iran, then abruptly called them off. Now, the strikes were in retaliation for Iran shooting down a U.S. military drone. The Times says the president initially approved attacks on a handful of Iranian targets like radar and missile batteries. And according to reports, there were ships in position and planes in the air when the president called it off. This morning, we are learning that an officer involved in a shooting in Mission, Texas, has died. A lieutenant with the Mission Police Department told KGBT that a suspect is in custody as well. The Mission Police Department has not released any details about what led up to the shooting, and an investigation is still ongoing. Officials are expected to address the public later this morning about that shooting. A Russian businessman who served as chief negotiator for the Trump Tower Moscow project will testify behind closed doors before the House Intelligence Committee today. Felix Sater could shed some light on his failed collaboration with President Trump's former fixer, Michael Cohen, to build a Trump Tower in the Russian capital. Coming up later, looking, out, looking outside, it looks like it's going to be a scorcher out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only 1031 in the morning right now. <laughs> oh, definitely. And it's a moment Disney Pixar fans have waited for a long time, I myself included. Toy Story 4 is in theaters today, and we'll have a look at what to expect in your GMSA first look. Looks, looks a little hazy out there, huh? A little hazy, but a bright day <laughs> ahead. Coming up after the break. You know, that's the thing that I've been dying with the most, my hair. There's no point in curling yeah. it anymore. The horometer is, uh, is off the scales. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is that an official meteorological uh, term? Yeah. It should be. Yeah. That'll be in the graphics tomorrow. <laughs> All right, time is 1036. It's 98 degrees outside. I just made that up. <laughs> T-Mobile and Sprint are facing legal issues over their proposed merger, and now several states are preparing to fight them in court. Debate now looming because there are no provisions yet requiring a restaurant to tell customers they're serving us genetically modified animals. Yeah, see, I don't really know how I feel about that, but then again, I'm a kind of a fried catfish chick, so. You, you'll dump it in a deep fryer, but you won't eat the fresh genetically modified. Mm. It's super salmon. It's, ah. super, it's good for you. <laughs> the United States women's national team is advancing to the round of 16 in the Women's World Cup. All right, go U.S. People around the world will use this summer solstice to raise awareness for Alzheimer's disease today. The Alzheimer's Association says some people will climb Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, run 100 miles, skydive, or walk 65 miles, all to raise funds and awareness for the disease. It's also the longest day of the year, which could help give people more daylight to achieve some of those feats. See, I love the rain. Again, it reminds me of my life back in Arkansas, and it's a great sleep aid. <laughs> Well, that's true, too. Yeah, it helps. It, it really, really does. does. Yeah. I just appreciate the pressure it takes off my sauce bill. What am I lying for me, please? That's yeah, true, appreciate. yeah. Yes. All right, it is 1043 in the morning, 97 degrees outside. T-Mobile and Sprint are facing legal issues over the proposed merger, and now several states are preparing to fight them in court.